Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be grafting a couple of scions onto my avocado tree. It's about a four-year-old tree that I grew from seed um, from one of my dad's Charwell avocados. So if we haven't met yet, I'm Kim and welcome to my garden. Now let's get growing. Today I'm going to be grafting two scions um, of a Charwell avocado from my dad's tree um, onto my avocado tree here, which I grew from seed from a Charwell avocado from his tree. If you ever grow an avocado from seed, it could take up to 10 to 15 years before you ever get a fruit. And uh, the fruit that you do get will not be an exact replica of the parent tree that you got the seed from. So better to do a graph so today we're going to do some graphs and uh, hopefully we'll get some avocados here soon all right and these are the two things you're going to need you need a knife for grafting and make sure your blade is very clean um, you can spray it or wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol so that you don't uh, spread any disease or anything to your tree You'll need some of this parafilm tape. I just bought it off Amazon. It's grafting tape and just protects your scion um, and the joint that you made um, from the elements while the graft is healing. You have to wrap the scion with this parafilm tape, the grafting tape. You kind of have to pull it taut as you wrap it so that the tape sticks to itself and protects the scion from the elements while the graft is taking. Next, I need to make a slice on the bottom of the scion. I usually make the cut about an inch or inch and a half long. And on the other side, I make a similar slice about half an inch long so that the scion is in the shape of a wedge. Now, what needs to happen is there's that part right on the inside of the bark. That's called the cambium layer. That layer needs to touch the cambium layer on the rootstock in order for it to have a successful graft. Now I'm making a little slice in the bark of the rootstock. And then I just slide the tip of my knife gently in to separate the bark from the cambium layer, creating a little pocket for my scion to fit nicely inside. And then once we fit our scion neatly in the pocket, we take our parafilm grafting tape again, and we have to wrap and secure the scion onto the rootstock. And here it is, all wrapped up and protected from the elements. And when those little new leaves come out, they'll just burst right out of the parafilm tape. 